Welcome back guys uh, to the second in the ankle series um, and we've just got Mitchie here and we're going to be talking about supination versus pronation in the, uh, the ankle region here and uh, we're just going to show you what each of those terms means. Okay, so um, typically someone who pronates, uh, and Mitchie if I can ask you to do that now, the ankle will turn in, okay, uh, and what we're going to see is this uh, outside edge of the foot starting to rise off the ground. So if you think about when the foot strikes, it's going to be a lot of contact here at the calcaneus or the heel, uh, and then the medial aspect of uh, the foot here, right? So um, if you ever sort of see those um, uh, pressure gauges when you go to say the athlete's feet or athlete's foot uh, shoe shop, all right? Um, then you know, we're going to see a difference and we're not going to be loading properly. So what that means is as we then see that again to Mitchell's pronate, we see his knees coming in through here. If you imagine the line of force going through, okay, it's not going and evenly distributing straight through the midline of the body here. All right? So we're going to start getting some uh, pain and pressure issues through here in the knee, okay, and we're going to be seeing a shortening of what's called the uh, peroneals, okay, and uh, peroneus longus and brevis, and that can then start to affect uh, the ITB, uh, and then that will start to then start to affect the hip uh, and pelvic region, TFL, glute max, and then we might start to see some uh, uh, differences in how someone squats, okay, and then if we just uh, get Mitchie to relax, all right, and uh, supinate, all right, so he's going to actively create a really high arch. Uh, because he doesn't have a high arch naturally, then he's got to actively do it. Uh, we'll see what will happen is the, uh, the tarsals, the bones within uh, the foot here, become very rigid and solid. And so what that means is, uh, because there's a very little contact, all right, on the ground, it's a high prevalence to rolling the ankle and, um, you know, uh, strains and sprains and uh, soft tissue injury, all right? Uh, so uh, what we're gonna look at is how to uh, release uh, the supination and the pronation, all right? Or just ease the tension, all right? So uh, with the pronation, we need to then start, as I said, look at the peroneals, all right? Supination, we need to look at the gastroxus soleus and tibialis posterior, okay? And tibialis anterior. So they work uh, just due to their insertion points uh, at the base of the arch here. All right, uh, and then we'll then start looking at the uh, soft tissue surrounding into the foot itself. All right, so guys, uh, we'll be doing a treatment video on this in the next little uh, series. All right, so uh, please stay tuned for that one and part two of how to treat the supinated and pronated foot. Thanks very much for watching.